Hi there, YouTube. I'm Craig here again with Bill and Antonio, and we are the Social Vultures. Whoa. Bill, please take it from the top. All right. Today, I wanted to talk about um, favorite actor portrayals in movies of real people. Okay. Um, do you want me to give a couple first? Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. A couple that came to mind for me uh, were uh, Anthony Hopkins recently played Alfred Hitchcock. Yes, in the movie yes, Hitchcock. Hitchcock. I love that movie. Yeah. Love that movie. Oh yeah. my God, he nailed it. Yeah. I'm a big Hitchcock fan, and he nailed and it. Her, and the lady in there was Hen Helen Mirren. Was in, who was the wife? She was yeah, great too. Yeah, Helen yeah, Mirren. Helen Mirren. Yeah, she, she was, was great. great. Yeah, she and was great. everybody in that was great. Um, yeah. I can't remember his name for the life of me now, but he's from Agent Carter. He plays. Uh, Jarvis on Agent Carter, and he played Anthony Hopkins in the Hitchcock movie, or Anthony Perkins in the Hitchcock movie, and mm -hmm. he was great. He was just like him. It was creepy. Um, uh, Daniel Day Lewis in Lincoln, Spielberg. Yes, Lincoln. yep, yes, yep. Big that, favorite. That was creepy too. He yeah. was like, yep, even physically. It's, well, it's dead Daniel Day on. Lewis. That, that's that's. I know thing, Daniel right? Day Lewis is pretty much. You know, very magic. Very yeah, he just woo, and he changes. Perhaps more topical, um, because he recently passed away uh, a few weeks ago, uh, at the time of filming at least, uh, Will Smith as Muhammad Ali. Yeah. I was going to say, Will Smith didn't pass away. No, no, but yeah, Muhammad Ali, Ali, unfortunately. That's actually one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. And, and he doesn't look anything like Muhammad Ali, and yet in the movie, it's all I saw was yeah. Muhammad Ali. He nailed it. So good. Well, something recently that I really like. Black Mass with Johnny Depp as Whitey Bulger. I he was amazing. Him. He was spectacular. And, and story-wise, I found it, it was a little light. Yes. Uh, but he nailed man, it. He, he made that movie. Oh, yes, he was very good. And if you watch, right after I watched Black Mass, I watched a documentary on the real Whitey Bulger. Yeah. And he's like, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I'd watch it before I watch it. Yeah. Movie. Like, holy he crap, exactly. it's scary. And that's one of the movies, like, Depp's always been a chameleon, but in that one in particular, five minutes in, I couldn't see Depp anymore. No, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix in Walk the Line playing Johnny Cash. An yep. Another example of a guy who looks nothing like Johnny yep. Cash. Yep. And yet, I swear to God, through that whole movie, all I saw was Johnny Cash. I go back again to Donnie Brasco. Johnny Depp was Johnny. I, I really like right, Donnie yeah. Brasco. A lot yeah. of people thought, but I thought, again, another character. Actually, I was never a fan of it, and then I picked it up cheap and thought, you know, I'll give it another chance, and I liked yeah. it a lot better on the second Yeah, movie. you don't think he's Johnny Depp. It's like... He looked like, yeah, I really liked I dug, I, yeah, I yeah. Like Johnny Depp. He's really good. Uh, Jamie Foxx as Ray Charles. Yep. Yep. Uh, he even looked like him. It was freaky. It was uh, like... Yeah, no, absolutely. He had, like, yep. chameleon DNA in him when he did that, because it was freaky. Uh, I'm going to drop a bombshell. Frost Nixon. Anybody who yeah. saw Frost yeah, Nixon? Great movie. Cool. With uh, uh, Frank Langella as, uh, you know, Richard Milhouse Nixon. Yeah. I can't believe... That of all people in history, you know, he was able to get me to somewhat sympathize towards President Nixon. Yeah, yeah. Towards Richard Nixon. Yeah, that was a great movie. Yeah, excellent movie. That was one of those movies where you're literally hanging on every word they're saying. Yeah. Oh! That was a great movie. Yeah. Well, Michael Shannon as the Iceman. He just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> no, I thought like that. Yeah, that, that was, was great. great. The Iceman. He oh, like that. Rick uh, his name was, he was stone cold and just brutal. Yeah, Loved yeah. that movie. Yeah, he played it great. Another one of mine, which I don't know, it's a lot older, so I don't know if you've seen it, but there was a... Um, a movie called Helter Skelter based on... Yes, yeah, uh, we're Helter Skelter. Yeah, based on Vincent Bugliosi's book, book yeah. about uh, Charles Manson. Mm -hmm. And Steve Railsback played Charles Manson. Oh, crazy. And holy crap. Yeah. You'd swear to God it was Manson himself. See at the end when he's bouncing and suddenly kind of stops and he looks at you? Yeah, like, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, he, you're, he nailed, you're nailed it. Yeah. I used to have that book too, Helter Skelter. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Another, yeah. He was Anybody yeah. else come to mind? That's like a big life performer. I'm glad I got the Michael Shannon. Out. I can think yeah, of, and again, of the movie, I can think of Capote. Uh, yeah, actually, okay, a couple there. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. Capote, and there was, what was the other one? Um, what was the name of the other movie about Capote? Oh, no, you're right. Because that one was uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman. And the other movie was Toby Jones. That's right, yeah. Oh, and, and I can't remember the names. They were both really good, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm more partial to Capote. I thought that was a, yeah. the better movie Same here. of the As two. Tom Hanks portrayed, I keep thinking of Tom Hanks has played oh, the Bridge of Spies recently. Yeah. Okay, all right, there you go. Yeah. Captain uh, Phillips, although Captain Phillips wasn't a really renowned character, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's hard to say. Like, did he nail the character? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but yeah, Capote was a good one because he really, he really got that one. Yeah. There's also a good movie called uh, Factory Girl, which is about the. Uh, 
art scene in the in the '60s, and Guy Pierce plays Andy Warhol in it. Oh yes, and, yes, that's and right. And nails Warhol yep. too. Just got it down perfect. No, yeah, great. No, it's all good choices. So yeah, like it's yeah. a lot, a lot. Of, you know, I, if I, anybody out there, if there's something major we forgot, where it's like, how yeah. could you have forgot? Then let us know because yeah, we'd love sure. to discuss this again. It's a great good uh, topic, Bill. Yeah. And even Richie Valen, uh, not Richie Valen. Sorry, um, oh gosh, Lou name? Diamond Phillips. Yeah, it's Richie Valen. Uh, Lou yeah. Diamond Phillips is great. Yeah, he yeah. was very good. And, he, and for the most part, for his brief in the movie, the guy played Buddy Holly. Like holy crap, he was really yeah. oh in that movie. Yeah, yeah, it was really bad. Yeah, because in the Buddy Holly story, it's hard to believe that Gary Busey was great in it. Because now we just kind of associate him with being a nut bar. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but he was great. Huh? Sorry, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Gary Booth. Yeah. Great Gary. Don't sleep, man. Embrace it. Just embrace it. So yeah, hey, folks. That's who we like. Tell us who you like. You know, we missed someone. Yeah, for you know, sure. I'm sure we missed a few, but so let us know yeah. what you think. Yeah. And let us know, you know, where to keep those questions coming to. So, for Jamie Foxx, Will Smith, and Anthony Hopkins, we're at Social Vultures. We'll see you next time.